Is it the right strategy to, to move to uh, Azure or to, to migrate away from 2003? Yes, exactly. I, I think, you know, anytime, anytime we have uh, any kind of ammunition and an ability to go to our clients and give, uh, give recommendations, um, ask them to improve, ask them to change, uh, I think it's a great opportunity. The, the strategy um, to move away from 2003, obviously 2003 is coming end of support. Everybody is going to need to move away from it, just like uh, the Windows XP opportunity we had the chance to go and, and get people uh, moving forward with uh, refreshes with a little bit more of a sense of urgency there was a deadline uh, there and and it pushed it pushed the movement uh, and the way that we always look at things in, in our experience across our client base is usually clients need two or three different reasons to to act on the the IT side especially um, depending on their level of, uh, uh, of IT operational maturity. So maybe one reason might be an age, aging server, another reason might be not using virtualization, and then if you add in a third reason where um, you have Windows Server 2003 is coming to end of support and you can have security issues down, down the road uh, and you need to upgrade, then that's, that's gonna be more, more compelling to act. Absolutely. So let me uh, ask the audience about the July 14th date. Did, did you guys know about this date at all? Can I have a show of hands? Okay, so everybody knew, okay. So I wanna ask Brendan and, and Stephanie, when you heard about the date, what did it mean to you in terms of addressing the new business opportunity and for you in terms of what you need to do from Variety Bill's perspective? So from, from our perspective, uh, the first thing that came to mind is we needed to start talking about this to, to clients. Um, and, and as soon as we, we saw in the roadmap that there was a deadline that it was coming to end of support, um, I'm sure all of you guys have had the um, same perspective. Sometimes it takes your clients a little bit, um, a little while to make decisions and, uh, and to, to act on things. So we wanted to start right away and, and start talking to people about it, giving them the heads up, letting them know that the next budget year, this calendar year, they were going to need to look at uh, at replacing any servers uh, that that were 2003 servers. In a lot of cases, those are aging servers, those are physical servers. Uh, it's stuff that needed to be upgraded anyway. But this was an, another reason to do it. And from a client perspective, um, I knew it was coming, and I knew that we were going to have to replace it. But as a charity, I have a unique. Um, uh, issue in that IT budgets fall to the bottom of the priority list. And so I had a hard time uh, convincing upper management to invest regularly in IT infrastructure. Having uh, Redmond come on board as a solution provider uh, allowed me to put some more weight behind that issue. And then he was able to take the plan with us to senior management and say, we need to upgrade and we need to um, move forward and having that plan and having a solution provider with us gave us that, um, that impetus, impetus to actually move forward and we were able to do that. What were some of the business benefits that uh, Brendan sort of outlined for you and the, and the charity? Oh, well, I think as he mentioned earlier, we um, were taking a look at some security issues. Uh, we needed to have a uh, more uh, current uh, infrastructure for our IT department. As I have to get funding for every single IT project that I want to do for the village, I want to be very transparent to all of our potential donors about what my environment looks like. And when I'm operating with out of date and uh, aging infrastructure, it doesn't look like that's a good investment for a donor. So Brenda was, help, was able to help me um, outline that and bring us with a plan to bring us up to date so that donors know that if they're going to invest in the right village for IT, their money's going to be well spent and managed wisely.